All right, here we go. Yeah, I'll try to do several things at once and see if this uh, if that helps or works. So uh, there's no more moves for the um, the Austro-Hungarian um, sector, like this side, uh, the east of the Visloka here. Here, I'm going to switch hands. Yeah, actually, I'm going to have to switch back and forth because it may be a little bit of a long one. So everything here. So all these moves I actually didn't do much with the first army. Um, what the heck did I do? I just uh, railed um, their Hotzendorf division. I think it was the sixth, no, fourth. And it went to here, just eventually here. Um, their special request was to take it under consideration. So screw it. Right now, um, First Army has to still, uh, sorry, Fourth Army still has to deal with this massive, uh, massively long front, but it's going to start shifting over a little bit. But look at this, eh? Core HQs and the Sector HQ here and the Army, uh, oh, two Army HQs for Christ's sakes and two Core HQs. That's a lot of stuff. And remember, the Austro Hungarians in my world are doing the two core army structure. That's the way I'm having it. So they're not allowed to have more than two army HQs. Oh gosh, I, I hope this is going to be um, part core HQ. Um, I love you to bits and a, a little, yeah, and I'm like, I'm not gonna, okay, I'm gonna show you a way of being able to print money in a way. Um, and I wouldn't do it. And it's so against, and here's the other thing I'm starting to clue into. It's taking me a long time, but now I'm really starting to see, at least I think, the difference between strength points and replacement points. And the reason being is why you can't just, um, at least I can't, uh, you know, the rules don't want you to, or even going against the spirit of, and I think I was going against the spirit of even um, the logistics or the infrastructure of what it means to be a division, what it means to be a brigade, a regiment and all that stuff. Uh, battalion and all that stuff it, it's and the reason why you can't just take replacement points and stick them together and say ta-da you've got a division um, because I'm missing out on the fact of all the infrastructure all that little bits um, stuff and, and like I said I didn't realize that in one way until uh, I was watching uh, what well one of the scenes in the lost battalion and they went to the division headquarters and I went holy smokes I didn't and that's just the division and I was like, Jesus, that's a huge amount of, like, a lot of trucks and zip zap. There's a lot of stuff going on. And I was thinking, holy moly, with this art. So, in other words, that's what I started to see. It's like, okay, you start, at least I'm starting to see, like, that is kind of built into that. That's where, regardless of how, uh, let's say, even if your division is down to one strength point, it doesn't matter. It's still going to uh, fill up the six uh, stack limit because it, it's it's with it's been abstracted I guess it's in there the you know all that infrastructure anyways so I'm like yeah okay I'm loving this I'm starting to clue in uh, I hope okay and I'm just gonna say I know for you combat happy people uh, it's gonna happen big time holy smokes um, yeah I gotta stop looking at I'm start getting depressed uh, for the Russians like this is just in they're in deep 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 trouble uh, if this cracks, which I think, yeah, I popped these guys back on. I thought it was a good idea to put on uh, uh, the 3D printed things for Radom and Kielce. And uh, just so it gives me a bit more of an eye. Anyways, this is, look, we'll just, I'm, I'm going with it. Like I know even earlier this afternoon, I was like, oh my God, like this whole, this whole game may collapse. Like, and I was like, okay, you just got to go with it and see what happens and blah, blah, blah. You know, like a zillion other things. And I'm, um, just all the permutation. Like, think about this. Like, uh, I, um, um, one of the commenters uh, was mentioning, saying, you know, oh, you're, uh, the Austrians are doing much better historically. And I was thinking, yeah. So what would that mean, you know, for them, like, uh, going up against Serbia now? They wouldn't have to, you know, focus so much. What about Falkenheim? And, like, would he go, okay, now I don't really have to send any more troops towards the east? Or maybe, you know, and they're going, no. Or maybe they're saying, okay, look, just a little bit more. We could, like, knock them down. I don't, it's just all these amazing little things. And then on the flip side, uh, you know, I constantly keep hearing about it and all the all the stuff about, um, you know, the Russians were having a horrible time. So the French had to, you know, and the British had to start doing something for, this, you know, in the spring to help them out or vice versa. 
Uh, and then you know, I started looking at in my, you know, the other part there now for the Ottomans and the British uh, trying to get ready for this, uh, for the, you know, right away. I think, well, I don't know. I don't think they can do it anymore. Uh, they wanted to go off. Well, no, no, they can still do the epiphany thing there uh, uh, towards uh, Gaza. So that's OK. But, you know, all that type of stuff. They may not have as many troops as they thought they would. Uh, they would. Oh, gosh. Anyways, let's go towards. So, yeah, I'm starting to just starting just starting to get into the uh, the eighth, uh, eighth army, uh, the Germans. And they're um, in my world are adopting the three core system. So each army is only allowed a maximum of three core. And there's a problem is here. I'm going to switch hands is the eighth army, who's also the sector commander. Oh, and I'm starting to get into like having to figure think. Oh, oh so sorry. Um, so that's Hindenburg, who's also the sector commander. For this entire freaking thing for the Germans. Um, yeah, there's their railhead into here. I'm starting to figure out like you got to be within four uh, movement points to another army HQ or core HQ. I just whatever. I'm trying to abstract also. Yeah, I understand they had telephones and whatever uh, or, you know, wireless communication, so on and so forth. But I'm also trying to think of it uh, abstract a little bit of like... Um, reliance or the an excellent chance of you being able to get communication in and out so i'm what i in my world right now if that guy was right here because of that major river and so on and so forth just based on i'm just looking at whatever just let me play my little world um they the sector commander would be out of communication with everyone else all the other army commanders uh that would be interesting but it, it's not the case um anyways when I was counting up the 8th Army, I looked up and I was like, oh, there's actually five core HQs. So they uh, they have to get rid of two somehow. And either, I don't think they'll be able to. I think they'll have to eat, like, uh, digest them in a weird way. And Ian, and here's where I said you can print money. I'm not going to do it, but just say you could. Okay, so we go off to, let's just remember here, let's go, we'll go backwards. And actually the theme actually this week is for me has been backwards. I'll talk about it later on the live stream. Holy smokes, man, has it ever been backwards? A good backwards. Anyways, so disbanding unit, units, and this is part of the, of the Asmonli Harby thing. It doesn't matter. It's still part of the real world. Um, it's kind of weird. I got, I'm trying to look at it both ways here. At the beginning of a turn, the Ottoman player can disband army and core HQ headquarters with no supply points that are on the map as well as blah, blah, blah. Um, that's the Ottoman player, eh? Um, hmm. I think there's somewhere else I'm going to have to take a look. Maybe. Uh, anyways, look, I'm putting up this video even if I made a mistake. That's the whole point of these things. Um I'm going to see why that, oh, why can't anybody else do it? Like, uh, uh, yet again, I'll have to figure this out. So maybe I didn't figure out how to print money, unless you're an Ottoman. Because ah! you're going to see why. Okay, so just remember, oh yeah, it says here. So I think for, what did it say? You get one replacement point for every three um, uh, core HQs, if you wanted to. Uh-huh. But remember this. It doesn't cost anything to make any core HQs. I can pump out as many as I flip and want, man. There's no restriction or limit on the core of, on the number of core HQ headquarters that may be created and they can be <laughs> created at any time. Oh, Lord of mercy. I wouldn't do it, but holy moly, that would create an interesting little parallel or an alternate universe where they all of a sudden everybody would be like, where the hell are all these uh, freaking Ottoman troops coming from? Ah, ah. Okay, anyways, I better go off and start planning stuff. See ya.